it is absolutely freezing. It's absolutely freezing. I need to warm it up with some fire or something. Right, now it's too hot. I need to cool it down a little bit, just the right temperature at the right time. Ah, that's better. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chow and welcome to this Fact File video. Now today, I'm going to be telling you guys about the fiery hot Nemesis Inferno at Thought Park Resort. We're going to be sharing with you the statistics of the ride, the history behind the ride, and also share with you guys my thoughts on the ride, as well as predictions for you guys who want a spoiler-free review of the ride for those of you who haven't experienced it yet. So I've got different time stamps in the description down below so you can check out uh, when to stop and start between if you don't want to hear spoilers at the end of the video, uh, as well as other time stamps for stats and facts and things like that. So, before we get into this video guys, let me tell you guys that you can send in your merchandise for a couple of weeks. So make sure you go and uh, check the community page uh, where you can see I put a post on there yesterday where you can send in your merchandise and basically you got the Instagram and Snapchat links that you can find in the description of this video and every other video. Uh, and you can also send in your merchandise with your name and location and you can, you know, if you want to say good videos or whatever, you can send that to me as well. You can message me about that and all. Uh, you can message me about anything to do with the channel. If you've got a question, I'll save it for the Q&A video for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. Uh, if you've got a video suggestion, drop it in the comments down below as well as messaging me on Instagram and Snapchat uh, and Twitter as well. I can, be, I can be DM'd on Twitter if you want. And uh, yeah, let's get into this fact file about the fiery Nemesis Inferno at Thought Park Resort. So the Nemesis Inferno site didn't always start off as Nemesis Inferno. In 1982, the park opened Magic Mill, which was a slow-moving boat ride around some brilliant theming for its time. Magic Mill operated between 1982 and 1993 before it was rethemed in 1995 to Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels. Now, with the Magic Mill, you would board your boat at the station. The boats had three rows of bench style seats. Your boat then traveled through a calm passage of water, passing by flower beds, model houses, and garden gnome, while calming classical music played out of the speakers placed around the ride. Inside the mill was a dark ride section with animatronic animals singing Paul McCartney's We All Stand Together aka the frog song. As well as frogs, there were several birds, a hippo, and other themed elements inside. And after your journey through the mill, your boat returned to the station. So in 1995, as part of a second phase of Ranger County, which was a brand new area for 1994, Magic Mill reopened as Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels. As part of this re-theme, the boats had a slight redesign to look like safari boats. Large models of the Rangers have been placed in different spots along the garden part of the track. They may also have changed the music in the garden section to more of an African jungle soundtrack with birdsong and animal noises. Also added around the outdoor section of the ride were large oversized storybooks telling the origin story of the Thought Park Rangers, which involved Mr. Rabbit finding the rest of the Thought Park Rangers during one of his travels deep into the jungle. Now unfortunately, on Friday the 21st of July 2000, there was a major fire at the park which destroyed the ride buildings for both Magic Mill, aka Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels, and Phantom Phasia, aka Wicked Witch and Haunt at the time. However, following this fire, Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels reopened without the indoor section of the ride, taking the boats on a relaxing journey around the gardens. And then at the end of 2001, the ride closed to make way for the construction of a ride which opened in 2003. That ride was Nemesis Inferno. Thought Park officially announced the addition of Nemesis Inferno in 2003 after the opening of Colossus in 2002. Construction took place throughout 2002 with the first test run being completed in December 2002. Nemesis Inferno officially opened to the public on the 5th of April 2003. According to Nicky Nolan of the Tussaud Group who operated the park at the time, the ride was installed just one year after Colossus to help transform Thought Park into a real thrill park. In 2004, Thought Park approached Guinness World Records to set the record for the most naked people on a roller coaster. And in May 2004, 81 students took part in the record, which was set at 28. 
the number of seats on the single Nemesis Inferno train. In August 2004, Nemesis at Alton Towers broke the record with 32 riders. The roller coaster was used on an episode of The Inbetweeners, and the line used in the episode became a huge international internet meme and is regarded as one of the most famous lines from the show. Now, statistically, Nemesis Inferno is a Bulgar and Mabillard inverted roller coaster with a custom layout. Now, Bulgar and Mabillard are a Swiss manufacture company that are known for many roller coasters throughout the world. Now, this coaster had a length of 2,460.7 feet, a height of 95.2 feet, a speed of 47.8 miles per hour, with four inversions over a 1 minute 43 second duration, pulling 4.5 Gs and including a 0 G roll, a loop, and interlocking corkscrews and even a tunnel right at the start. It was themed around a volcano with a drop entering the crater or caldera and was designed by Ing Burro Stengel GmbH who have designed 438 roller coasters around the world. Nemesis Inferno stands the test of time as one of the main additions that started the Thrill Park Revolution in the early noughties at Thorpe Park Resort and the trailer and advert for Nemesis Inferno still stands as an incredible advertisement for this amazing ride experience. So that, my friends, is everything you need to know on Nemesis Inferno. Now, for those of you who want a spoiler-free review, check the description down below and go to that timestamp. But for those of you who stayed, here are quickly my thoughts about the ride, because this is a fact file and not a Coast Child review. But I wanted to personally say that Nemesis Inferno, for me, was a great ride experience. The feeling of being dropped into this volcanic theming and through the tunnel and out with the smoke it really felt like an atmospheric attraction and I felt like Nemesis for Inferno has stood the test of time as a great attraction for its time. Now, for those of you who are here for a spoiler free review, let me tell you, you will not be disappointed because it is a fantastic ride experience for me personally and I would really hope that you guys enjoy it. So there we go, so thank you very much guys for watching my uh, statistics and facts and the history behind Nemesis Inferno at Thought Park Resort. Obviously we're going to be doing more of these fact files. Uh, I've got two on the way uh, in the next week or so from Cobra at Poulton's Park. Shout out to whoever shouted that out. I can't remember your name but I know you shouted it out so that will be coming in the next week. And also the Green Lantern Coaster at Warner Brothers Movie World in Australia. Somebody suggested that as well. So I'm going to be releasing both of those in the next week or two. Uh, so those, both those fact files will be out. We've had other fantastic videos being suggested to me in the comments section down below. Uh, we've got a couple of Cosby Not Forgotten videos that people have suggested, including conf Confrontation at uh, Universal Studios Orlando. So I hope to get a video from that uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, as well as that, we've got plenty of news updates, I'm sure, for when news comes out about theme parks. And we've got some brilliant other videos as well. Obviously, um, in a few weeks, we're going to be kicking off the Alton Towers Does Love Island series, which is a very fun sketch show series that I'm going to be doing. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing some Meet the Islander type uh, introduction videos for all the contestants, so uh, you'll be able to see uh, exactly what's been going on. Obviously, you guys have been voting in the comment section of that very successful video, uh, Who Should Be Coupled Up, so that will all be coming um, in the next month. And also, guys, we've got more of those Theme Park Ultimate Team Pack opening videos. So I'm going to be doing another one of those. I've got the hat ready. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be switching some packs in between the packs. I'm going to be creating some new cards, hopefully, uh, to switch in between the packs as well and create a couple of other packs. I'm going to need a bit more paper uh, to uh, switch the draw around. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.